last one it's the it's the dynamics how you, what you should remember so transmural infarction or or STEMI or Q means in this one there's going to be definitely ST elevation and Q but it depends when it appears and you should remember if it's first minutes of the MI the first thing you can see like is the tenth T or high T okay that's the th th first thing on on two three leads you see that but basically you won't see that this is in first 10 minutes only people on IC unit will be the ones which have a ECG on them and having infraction you'll see that typically when someone comes to you to 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 I don't know where and he had an infraction on, on the road somewhere he's gonna have already ST elevation and this is a mask mask such a high T uh, ST elevation that it masked the T over there so this is like 20 30 minutes already so so ST elevation appears like in 20 30 minutes and then there are other things that will come to it but later and like third fourth minute there are two things that can compete sometimes you will already see this deepening of the Q it goes deeper and deeper but it starts and Q typically develops starts to develop at three hours after infarction and definite is three and 24 hours so so proper Q is fully built up in 24 hours so you take it as a later sign of MI that's why it is not so important today when you need the information immediately that's why you are looking for ST elevation that's why STEMI and the one other thing which can appear in third and fourth hour it always depends is the then the T changes or in a way inverts oh sorry so t inverts and it could be like this for example if there is elevation but yeah it's a coronary t this is a coronary t already and this you will not see in unstable angina for example okay yeah but watch out coronary t can be also in non-stemi okay yeah q and ST elevation that is only here but this one can be also a non STEMI MI okay but still I will talk about the transmular one so and watch out so in 24 hours you will already see a beautiful Q here T and ST elevation T is like sometimes is sometimes not it depends okay but in the next days typically so day in day one yeah there's gonna be deep Q Oh, sorry. Deep Q could be like this. But then it, several days, the Q stays and ST segment is going down and T stays as well. Okay. Yeah. Then months. Deep Q and ST could be already normal, but there's still negative T and years. The Q is the only thing typically which really lasts long, pathological Q. So take Q as a really like long term. You know, after few, one year, if someone has a pathological Q there, you can say, oh, you had an infarction. And he said, oh, I don't know. And yeah, oh, yeah, you had. Okay. So sometimes they don't know, especially old people with, with, with bad innovation of the heart. Yeah, they don't have to know. They just didn't feel right one day. Okay. And watch out this one is debatable sometimes it's a bit smaller sometimes it can be a bit negative but most cases it no, it's normal as well so and last one very fast the dynamics of the non-STEMI and STEMI infarction well non-STEMI get it non so you sh shouldn't have ST elevation there and also non-Q no Q but you can have the ST uh, T, T inverted T the, you can have the coronary T so so basically in the first hours it's going to be just the 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 ST depression and later there's going to be also can be oh sorry so ST depression then it could be inverted in months so days yeah days months 
there is no the, there is no pathological cue in months this is normal and still the t could be there and after year it could be typically totally normal you won't know that there was an mi sometimes t is smaller and smaller uh, so if it's smaller it could tell you something okay so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell and as always check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials